So you also help homeowners out, but you also have a commercial side to your business. Yes. So yeah. that would be like office buildings and Correct. things like that. Like we're sitting in our studio, folks, at the High Falls here. We're with uh, nine, uh, Entercom Studios, 950 ESPN. And uh, looking out on the um, street side, we have uh, some... What are those? Those are actually roller shades. Roller shades. They're called roller shades. Okay. <laughs> they look really NASA to me. Yeah. More NASA stuff, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but that's something that you can do as well for yes. commercial yes. properties. And that I would never even imagine that you could clean that stuff, Wayne. That's pretty cool. I, I mean. They actually clean up real well just because of all the holes in there. It does collect quite a bit of dirt. Yep. Just by sitting there. And then clean. let's get into indoor air quality because... Oh. When you have a lot of dust and dust mites and things mm-hmm. like that, that and dead skin cells because the human body sheds. Do you know this? <laughs> yes. What, do you know what the term is? You listen to our numbers? show? <laughs> I, I don't know where she's going with it right yet. But. Okay. Do you know the stat for how many dead skin cells a human body sheds per hour? No, I don't. It's like gazillion, bazillion, gazillion. I can't even like read the number out, it's, although my four-year-old could. Yeah, probably. <laughs> There's a reason to clean your blinds. Yeah, yeah. But that's what happens. And we've talked about that with duct cleaning before and mm-hmm. carpet cleaning. And, and these things are the filters in your house. Yes, your blinds, are. your drapes, any kind of fabric. That, you know, yeah, you have a, what, three by five furnace filter downstairs, right? Yeah. One in your whole house, typically. But everything else that you live in, including your blinds, um, in this case, because we're talking with dirtyblinds.com, filters, the debris, dust, dead skin cells, and so on in your home. Mm-hmm. And that's what you breathe, and that's important in indoor air quality. So we talk about the importance of cleaning your carpets, having them professionally cleaned, your mattresses, so on and so forth. I would uh, have to start recommending that people throw the, the window treatments into that. Sure. We can help them out. So that's good news. And then again, folks, it's ultrasonic blind cleaning, uh, dirtyblinds.com. Wayne comes to you. It's mobile on-site cleaning. So like Pat was saying, he doesn't have to find his bathrobe. You're, you're in, you're out, and the blinds are back down. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure you leave your blinds open anyway. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like Bigger. the voyeurs like you driving by. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, what was that? <laughs> oh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> What's, I smell bleach. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. So you also have a mobile on-site shopping center, which that's what I'm talking about. Because what? anybody that knows Brenna Hartman, the fixie chick, I like it coming to me. What do you mean? You're, what are you doing? You selling jewelry too, or no? <laughs> no, but we'll bring the books to you if you want to. You know, have a certain type of blind that you want to buy, oh. and uh, we can bring everything to you. You can pick out right at your house. Okay, so you do installations and per- purchasing. I can buy blinds from you. Yes. Okay, cool. That's really cool. What kind would you recommend for him? For me. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I mean, I am pretty good looking without my clothes on, but I mean, be honest. <laughs> Roller we get shades. the room darkening ones that just block all yeah. the light out. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think so, yeah. yeah. Your neighbors would appreciate that. You I think so. You stop by over there to Pittsford and yeah. see Yeah, the neighbors don't, they don't talk to me much. <laughs> they, yeah, they're like, oh God, not him again. <laughs> no, you're a great neighbor. So much fun. Such a big guy. Just get rid of that bleach. Yeah, you know, I know. As a matter of fact, when am I invited over to your house? I don't know. I don't. I, don't, I didn't. I never invite you because I figured you wouldn't like the smell of bleach. I, was say, it, I will steal your bleach, but then I'm like, how am I going to dispose of it? I would have to take it down to Henrietta, oh. to Monroe County, yep. and dispo- it is a toxic, a bad biohazard. Yeah, wow. you can't just put it down the drain. That explains why it eats my jeans out. <laughs> Like the Holes other guys, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on the train. No, you can't do that. So, um, whereabouts do you serve with Western New York? But which uh, you know, we have listeners all over the world. We're online, of course. You can listen live online. So, well, we cover all of Buffalo, all of Rochester. I've been as far as Syracuse cleaning blinds. Mm-hmm. Do you like oh. what you do? You said yes, you I do. do. Yeah, yes. that cool. seems like a good job. Yeah, I enjoy it very much. It now, do you do a lot of advertising or not? I or word don't do a, a lot. Most of it's okay. word of mouth or the website. Okay. That's where most of my work comes from. And, and we have a client list that gets called, you know, once a year just to remind them that their blinds are ready to be cleaned. Do it for cleaning. Okay. That's cool. Do you yeah. recommend anything to do in between a cleaning? 
like to keep up. Like, you know, if your furnace, they say change your furnace filter in between your furnace. You can do a light dusting on them, but some of the cloth ones you, you try to vacuum, you've got to be careful because you can rip the material. Mm -hmm. The yeah. silhouettes and stuff are so delicate that you really got to be careful with them. Yeah. Yeah, and some of the cloth stuff just holds the dust. You really yes, don't. Does. Yeah, you can't really vacuum it. I mean, when it gets, I've seen some, I think maybe in my house, I don't know, where, I, where I've got, you try to vacuum it, it just still looks like it's got dust on it. Doesn't what, what do you have in your house? I got all, I got I don't have the vertical blinds. I don't have blinds. I've got a lot of cloth, but I know I've vacuumed blinds before, and I don't remember where. I don't know. I must be hammered. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just. What kidding. are those lead-based tones? Uh, yeah, you it's, in? it's that lead-based stuff. It's not <laughs> anything else. Yeah. S but you know what I mean. You, I I just know that I've seen cloth verticals that you just try to clean dust, and they just don't dust. So that's. Basically, what I'm saying is probably a beneficial thing to have them clean because they will be dust free after that, right? Yes. And then getting back to real estate, we want to remind you, mm -hmm. you said that a lot of uh, realtors actually have hooked up with you so that um, they help the their um, homeowner out when they're selling a house for a homeowner and they help them out by provi helping provide your service yep. so that people can get that done. Because like I was saying before, that would be one of the first things I would look at. I might even want to change the window treatment, actually, you know, if I bought a new house. But if it was dirty, I would think, okay, how else has this house been maintained? I mean, I would judge. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not that I'm judgmental, but I am. But I am. <laughs> but you're going to anyway. <laughs> Not yeah. that I'm judgmental, but you're dirty. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually a good benefit, too, for the realtors because then, then they've got a, a resource. They call Wayne at uh, dirtyblinds.com, and then they can actually refer to their clients whom they might put their house on the market. Listen, your blinds are a little filthy through this whole place. Call Wayne. Mm -hmm. And, you know, get this done. Do you have any deals for our realtor community? Because we have a big uh, realtor community being that we're property source, uh, com you know, property source radio, property source online. Mm -hmm. Usually from the businesses, I'll, you know, give a, you know, 10%, give them contractors prices knowing that they're going to do them all the time. Okay. Do I get contractors' prices? Sure. All right. That's what I'm That's talking cool. about. I just asked. <laughs> <laughs> ask and you will receive. That's why I never get anything. I never Thank ask. you so much, Wayne, for joining us today, coming all the way out and visiting with us. You're more than welcome. Thank and you. thank you even more for cleaning my dirty blinds. Sure, anytime. All right, <laughs> folks. That's dirtyblinds.com. And you can check out Wayne. You'll be able to hit them up on our website, which is propertysourceradio.com. Uh, this segment was brought to you by the Property Source newspaper, which we love and respect. Hey, who's that girl on the cover? I don't know. I can't figure out whose picture that is. <laughs> it's, it looks kind of like your cousin. It's not me, but it says DIY home energy audit with the fixie chick. Somebody's plagiarizing my material. Uh-oh, the famous fixie chick has been plagiarized. We're going to have to get on that for next week. We're going to have to talk to the big boss and find out what's going on. All right. So we want to remind you that on Wednesday midweek, our waterfront edition of the Property Source newspaper is going to be out. Pat and I are going to be looking for our next waterfront home. I'm Brenna Hartman, the Fixie Chick. Thanks for joining us today. Stay classy, Rochester.